Most people don't think about landscaping along a driveway. In this video, I'm gonna show you three different designs that show you why it's important, and I'm gonna give you out some killer tips to save you money. All right, all right, all right. My name is Bobby K. I'm a professional landscape designer, and as I said, in this video, we're gonna address how to landscape along a driveway. Let's jump right into the designs. We're gonna be out three. I'm gonna address the problems, give you the solutions, and then I'm gonna give you out some pro tips that are gonna save you a bunch of time and money. So uh, let's go. back from the designs. I hope that you like them and you can see one of them being a fit for along your driveway. Now let's get into the problems. Problem number one is the erosion. You can see that the grass is starting to deteriorate, maybe a little bit of mud is starting to wash onto the asphalt and there's nothing to really hold it. So we need to come up with some clever ways to control that. Problem number two is if you start to look at as you come down the driveway and along the wood line, you can start to see that that is also eroding. So this is a little bit more drastic versus our erosion problem number one. I think that we need to put in some kind of retaining wall to hold that back so that the lawn doesn't start to go. Problem number three is it's boring. Let's put something fun together. Let's put something that's almost a focal point as you come into the driveway. That's exactly what we're doing. Design number one is the most expensive option here. And why is because we are extending the driveway over with some pavers. If you know anything about installing pavers, you have to excavate down about eight inches. You've got four inches to six inches of a compacted minus base sand that's about an inch and then the paver is usually two and five eighths somewhere around there it comes out to about eight inches so there's a little bit more labor involved with this process but what you're doing is say you got an old grandma <laughs> that just doesn't sound right how about you have a loved one? That sounds better. You have a loved one who lives with you who's not the best behind the wheel and they kind of keep going and, and going up into the lawn. An extension of the driveway with pavers is not only gonna make it look nice, but you know your, your little old granny can hit the pavers and you're gonna be okay. That still didn't sound very nice, but that's what I mean. Another part of design number one is we put in boulders to retain the hillside, and then we put in some decorative gravel and some nice plantings. All of these plantings, all of these materials, I'm gonna put down in the description so you know exactly what design number one, two, three have in them, and you're gonna be able to price it out. Design number two is a little bit more simplistic. What we did is just continue the gravel along the driveway. I would still recommend putting a compacted minus space so that if somebody slips off the driveway that it's not just gonna completely settle down, but this is gonna be cheaper than doing pavers. You can just continue the gravel all the way up and you're good to go. As far as the hillside, we stuck with the boulders and we put some light landscaping in there as well. Design number three, we went with the gravel as well. We changed up the color to a Merrimack B gravel, but we went heavier on the landscape. So what we did is we went above the retaining wall that we put in and the gravel, and we started to cut in a landscape bed with a Japanese maple and some other bushes. I like this a lot. I think that the color theme, as you can see, of what I picked out 
goes with the color theme of what they already have in their existing landscaping. The pro tip there is play off of what you already have. Don't make something that is so completely different that it sticks out like a sore thumb. You want it to be cohesive and work. So I love this one and I hope you do too. Let's get into the pro tips. I know I sprinkled in a couple in the description that I was giving out on the designs, but uh, I feel like being generous today, I'm gonna give you a couple more. Design number one, when we're looking at the boulders, make sure you excavate back and backfill with clean rock or Merrimack rock or something like that that the water can permeate through. Then take wall fabric behind the gravel that holds back the soil so that that soil and the rock don't start to glob together and all of a sudden it just starts to come through and it's a mess. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Pro tip for design number two is when you're putting the gravel in the bed and along the driveway, there's lots of different options you can do, but some options cost more than others. I would suggest pricing out different types of gravel and then looking at the colors and playing off those colors with the colors of your house. Don't pick something that's going to stick out like a sore thumb, like, like br bright, brilliant, white, like pebbles aren't gonna go with this house, it's gonna look awful. So make sure you pay attention to that and then you can price it out and save yourself some money. <coughs> Pro tip number three is with design number three and more of that landscape bed that's above the wall and along the driveway. One thing I think you should pay attention to is where it starts to get a little steep, these are perfect opportunities to pocket in a little boulder and put some plantings around it. Basically what you're doing is naturally retaining those areas with the boulder and plants versus having to build a wall along the whole driveway. And if your dear old granny is not a good driver and she comes down that driveway, she might hit your retaining wall. You don't want that. Hey, I had a lot of fun putting these designs together and I hope that you learned something valuable that you can take with you into your design, whether you're designing along a driveway or in a bed. The pro tips in here come right from me being out in the field. I was in the field for a long time. I know exactly what I'm talking about. And if you do them, your life is gonna be so much easier. And listen, if none of these design options really look like something that you want, that's okay. I got a bunch up my sleeve. So go to my website, check it out. And if you would like a custom Bobby K design, I'm happy to do one for you.